Hey everyone, welcome to 2040. It's our 20 year reunion and it also happens to be the first day that more than 10 people are allowed to be together. A perfect time to celebrate everybody's successes. But first, we are finally authorized by President Lightfoot to remove our PPE. That's so much better. Now, let's hear what everyone's been up to. Jack Davis, after graduating from Harvard while playing basketball and baseball, has become an MLB player, his own agent, and an ER doctor in his free time. He really does have it all because, for the first time in forever, he and Rebecca can finally stand closer than six feet apart. Rebecca Silverstein has made, continues to be an amazing ice skater. She has made it into a career skating professionally for Disney, including five years as the lead in Frozen on Ice. That certainly helped her get through the disappointment of missing our operetta. Jackson Labton, after breaking the unofficial record for typing the alphabet online in eighth grade, decided to give up on playing sports and instead try to set the Guinness Book of World Records record for holding the most records in the Guinness Book of World Records. But to date, the only official Guinness record he's been able to set is most hair growth in the 20-year quarantine. Zoe Levitt opened a Big Cat Rescue Center in 2030. They recently made a Netflix documentary about her called The Tiger Queen. But don't worry, she hasn't killed anyone. Yet. Isaac Gross and Eli Kamins have become professional game streamers. The only thing holding them back from being the top in the country is their inability to stream on Shabbat. They also coach basketball at BZ in their free time. Their first act is coaches being to eliminate lane slides. After playing for the U.S. women's national soccer team and winning a World Cup, Kate Schweitzer became their attorney and finally won them higher pay than the men's soccer team. Miles Mann has become a professional lacrosse player. He leaves the nation in falls, ejections, and Baker Mayfield headbands worn. Mia Weinberger owns a highly successful bar and restaurant in Napa called Weinberger's Wine and Burgers. Matt Streamberg has become the pride of his family after taking over Fred's camp and franchising it all over the world. He also teaches P.E. at Bernard Cell and started the well-known prequel to Friday Fun, Thursday Things. After discovering her natural talent during the 8th grade lock-in, Sydney Gilbert became a professional badminton player. She's been playing Olympic badminton for 10 years and has won 9 gold medals. She still doesn't like to lose and won't talk about the year she won a silver medal. Owen Fisher and Joel Fisher created a band known as the Fishermen. The Fishermen are famous for playing a minimum of 18 instruments each per song. Eliza Lampert won The Voice back in 2035 and has since been on a mission to teach a singing or guitar lesson at every school of rock in the world. In her free time, she stars in Frozen the Musical. She also collaborated with the Fishermen on one of their biggest hits, a ballad called Tears Over Teal. Trevor Goodhart maintained his hair for so long that when he finally cut it short, no one recognized him, and he almost got thrown out of the reunion for being a crasher. Ella Hammer graduated from Yale School of Education and went back to work at Bernard Zell, partly because she loved it so much there, but mostly because she wanted to work with Doug Davis, who now runs BZ. Andrew Rice created a comfortable life for himself, chasing his dream job of mitzvah crasher. He eats buffet food and candy tubes, wears giveaways, and lives in the synagogue bathroom waiting for services to end. The BZ class of 2040 knows he isn't a guest at their parties, but he's so much fun, no one even cares. Lisa Golovchik has written seven books, all different genres. Four of them won the John Newbery Medal, and three of them were inspired by Ellie Wiesel's lessons. She has dedicated all three of those books to Doc, who she says taught her everything she knows about Wiesel. Sam Frank has become a film and food critic for the New York Times. He's respected by his peers for being entirely honest, whether the cheeseless pizza is tasteless or the movie is bad. Ari Kendall has joined her family business and turned their combined jewelry lines into a multinational conglomerate called Kendall Designs. She lives in L.A. with Danny Kaplan. Danny Kaplan moved to L.A. with Ari and has become a social media influencer, promoting her favorite brands. She also manages the social media accounts for Kendall Designs. Jake Levinson has become a jump shot coach for the Chicago Bulls who still play with very limited spectators. In the off season, Jay still works on improving his jump shot and his YouTube channel for 20 hours a day. 
After a shocking transition from being a cat person to a dog person, Chloe Miller combined all of her passions to develop a fully vegan pet food line for dogs and cats called Miller's Meatless Meals. Danny Kaplan also manages Chloe's company's social media network. We were all surprised that Ben Sanders did not make it as a professional athlete. Luckily, he has become a successful hair model and has made a fortune endorsing shampoo brands. After years of hard work, Elena Schwartz and Celia Pincus achieved their dream jobs of becoming dermatologists. They also co-host the latest iteration of Dr. Pimple Popper, whose theme song was written by the Fisherman and sung by Eliza Lambert. Michael and Julia Jasper have opened a proboscis monkey franchise of Zoe Levitt's Rescue Centers. They spend all their time staring at the monkeys because they're just so majestic. Lauren Altman became the first woman NBA star, and thanks to Jake Levinson's guidance, she leads, she leads the league in shooting percentage. She is also known for getting in fights with refs, angry outbursts during games, and time off for injuries. After numerous performances through her years at BZ and Jones, Layla Sterling has moved to New York City. She has written and starred in hit musicals such as Rats and the sequel to Six, Seven. Lindsay Yaftel has become a Broadway star as well, co-starring in Layla's original production of Seven. She also has a book review blog where she writes extremely harsh reviews of all the books she reads. Somehow, her reviews are often longer than the books she's reviewing. Josiah Hartman was one of the only people who benefited from the 20-year quarantine because the only sports he played for 20 years were video games. It gave all of his broken bones time to heal, and he sustained no new injuries. After COVID-19 mutated and caused upper spine deformities in cats, Rachel Necklace's love of cats became her career. The Rachel Necklace Cat Necklace for Necklace Cats is the most popular cat collar on the market. After rising to fame on TikTok, Jack Fallon collaborated with Jimmy Fallon to create a new cable network known as Fallon Fallon TV. Ruby Golding and SD Katz's husbands are identical twins. They each have two sets of twins and they live next door to each other. They are groupies of the hugely popular band Brand New Shoes and travel the country to see them play. After a very successful swimming career, Johnny Blackman had some good luck in the stock market and finally became rich enough to take up fencing. Alex Menno went on to marry Harry Styles, despite the negative opinions from her peers. They adopted seven children because by the time their relationship was legal, Harry was too old to have kids. Tess Applebaum runs a matchmaking service where she gives people complete makeovers before matching them with the person of their dreams. She also has a TV show about herself where she gives tips on how to apply makeup and how to attract a significant other. It is called Tess's Tea and plays on Bound Found TV. Ava Lickstein's essay on nut-free peanut butter was published in the Wall Street Journal and started a worldwide nut-free peanut butter frenzy. She partnered with Skippy in 2032 to invent new nut-free peanut butter made from hydroxychloroquine. She is one of the leaders in spreading awareness for nut allergies. So that's a glimpse of how we all end up in 20 years. Except wait, what about you and me? Well, Brandon, I didn't want to make you uncomfortable but after all my years of pursuing you, in 2030, you finally took a break from 2K30, and we got married. Oh, I see here that you took all that medical education from Gray's Anatomy and became a surgeon at Seattle Grace. So I'm married to a nice shoes doctor. Aren't you lucky? And the good news is, you get to raise our kids and work for the Seattle Sonics as president of bas basketball operations. I'm so proud of you, honey. This was an amazing sneak peek into all of our futures. You guys have all gone on to do some truly remarkable things with your lives. And I think we can all thank Bernard Sell for giving us an amazing foundation to follow our dreams. As we go off on our different paths, we all share the history and experience. We know this is not the end of eighth grade that any of us expected. We thought for 10 years that we would all go to Israel together and finally get to practice our Hebrew skills. I guess we'll have the time. Have, I guess we'll have to find time in the future to go, and I really hope we do it together. We thought we would have an operetta, and even if we weren't totally confident we would be amazing actors, we knew it would be ours. And graduation. None of us thought our graduation would be spent sitting home with our families, watching on a computer. And yet, last night was unique and memorable, and only the class of 2020 gets to tell that story. As we move on to this next chapter in our lives, we are sad we won't all see each other every day. But at least we got a jump start on keeping in touch with each other in other ways. 
Turns out we are really good at Zooming and FaceTiming and texting. So we will always have each other in some form or another. Nothing will take away our amazing memories of our years together at Bernard Zell. And our wish for the entire class of 2020 is that you all have the chance to fulfill your dreams, even if they aren't exactly what my husband Brandon and I envisioned for you.